in the previous videos we, we looked at y equals x and if you try to draw this line it will look something like this um, it will be a straight line through the origin uh, and then we looked at y equals x squared y equals x squared will look something like this and and then we looked at y uh, equals x to the power 3 and the graph will actually look something like this okay um, in this video we're going to look at um, y y equals 1 over x what is this what does this graph look like okay so so again to to investigate to investigate that create yourself a table like like this with lots of values going from 0 and then up here uh, and then x while well, going into the negative realm so um, we are trying to investigate this y equals 1 over x okay so so now we, we, we can start putting uh, different values into the x here okay and, and then put 4 into the x uh, and then and then create some values along here and then we can plot the graph okay so so let's let's start here y equals 1 over x now the first number that we, we put in there let's let's put 0 into here now this is a weird thing because the minute you 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 you're, in maths you're not allowed to have anything divided by zero. Uh, um, the the minute you have something divided by zero, it it breaks down. Uh, you're allowed you're allowed to have a zero divided by three, but you're not allowed three divided by zero. You can't divide anything by zero. You see, zero divided by four, let's say four, uh, it equals zero. But then the minute you have four divided by zero, it it breaks down. Um, if, if, if let, let's say if you have uh, 10 sweets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then there are, there are 5 of you, 5 people, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, 10, 10 sweets divided by 5 people, that, that will give you each 2 sweets. Okay, that, that, that's, that's quite easy to understand. Let, let's say you have 10 sweets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you divide it by 2 people, uh, divided by 2, then, then each of you will have 5 sweets. That makes sense. Um, let's, let's say if you, if there's 10 sweets and then you have one person. So 10 divided by one person, that equals, uh, 10, because each person will get 10 sweets. That makes sense. Um, if you have, let's say, if you have, if you have, half of a person okay i know it's weird um let's just say you have half you, you've got 10 sweets divided by half of a person now half of a person you're going to have um 20 sweets i know it's weird i know it's weird let's say um let, let's say if you have um a, a quarter of a person okay a quarter of a person let's let's just say a quarter of a person here then a, then a quarter of a person will have um, uh, uh, 40 sweets. I know it's weird. I know it's weird. Um, let's say you don't have anyone. Uh, you divided by 10 sweets divided by zero. It, it, uh, 10 sweets divided by zero. What, what, what does that mean? 10 sweets divided by zero. Well, anyway, uh, it's, it's so strange. So, so just when, the minute you see uh, something divided by zero, uh, stop what you're doing because it, it breaks down. So you, you you just can't do it. Okay. So um, let's let's just uh, all right. Let's let's just say it's infinity for the time being. Okay. If let's just accept it's infinity. Okay. So now let's let's put two into um, just just accept this for the, for the time being. Okay. Um, so now let's let's put um, let's put two in. So we are trying to investigate this one over x. Now let's put two into uh, into uh, this x here. So two into that x there would be uh, would be uh, one over two, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay. Um, uh, if if you put four into into this thing here, if you put if you put four into here, uh, that would be that would be a well, a quarter. A quarter is 0 0.25. Okay, so we can put 0 0.25 in here. Now, if you put six into this uh, into this thing here, into the x here, it will be uh, one over six. So what's one over six? Hang on, let's let's convert that to a decimal. Um, so one one divided by six. One divided by six equals this. 
equals uh, no uh, no point one one what no point one seven okay now if you put eight into into this uh, this thing here into the x here um, that would be an eight an eight so let's get a calculator and work out what, what an eight is so one divided by eight uh, hang on clear one divided by eight equals equals uh, not uh, 0.125 okay now you put 10 into the x that will be a tenth okay so so that will be 0.1 okay um, and then and then uh, uh, okay let's let's try and plot this for the, for the time being okay so so when it's zero uh, okay something weird happens at zero so let, let's let's just leave zero blank for the time being now two two would be 0.5 okay two two here would be 0.5 so it would be something like this uh two would be 0.5 it would be right here okay uh four would be 0.25 so four would be 0.25 i'm going to guess somewhere around here and then six would be 0.1 i'm going to guess somewhere around here and then eight well, it's still above one but it's a quite small number above one and then 10 it would be 0.1 so i'm going to guess somewhere here Okay, so all right, it's not accurate. Okay, let's some, let, let's try and investigate. There, there's something going on near zero here. Hang on, let's let's put one in there. Let's let's try and see what what, what it means. If, if we put one into here, then that will be one over one. That equals one. So when when x is one here, when x is one here, this will be one. Okay. Um. That, there's something hap there's a lot happening between zero and uh, and two here so now this table doesn't tell us much so so i'm just trying to probe inside here between zero and one so uh, 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 let, let's try and put uh, uh let's let's see let's see what happens when when x is 0 0.5 here okay so hang on when so y equals one over x now let's let's put 0 0.5 into into the x so I'm I'm trying to to um, to to select a, a, an x between zero and two because because there, there's something clearly happening um, happening between zero and one. So I'm trying to investigate here. Um, so let's let's put 0 0.5 into here. So one divided by 0 0.5. Let's see. Hang on. Clear this. One divided by 0 0.5 equals equals two so it gets bigger um so so when when, when we have 0 0.5 in, into here it gets bigger it, it actually becomes two so so when x equals 0 0.5 uh y will be two okay now let's let's see let's let's say when 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 x equals uh 0 0.1 say um so so now let's let's put 0 0.1 into this thing here so one divided by 0 0.1 uh, hang on, one, clear this, one divided by 0 0.1, it, it, it gets bigger, it equals 10. So that means on, on our diagram here, when, when x is 0.1, it's actually somewhere, it's actually somewhere up here, when it's 0 0.1, hang on, 10, I'm gonna guess 10 to be around here. So this graph here will look something like, look like this. Ah. Uh, this is really hard for me to draw this, so bear with me. So on the, I'm, I'm trying to draw this, I'm trying to draw this line here, it's really difficult. Ah, hang on. It, it, it will look something like this. Okay, um, hang on. Let, let me try and do it again. Okay, it, it, it will actually look like something like this. And, and there's a reason why that, that, that is. Because if you, if you look at this, this, this is a line we're trying to draw here. Uh, y equals 1 over x. Now, if you make this really small, um, the, the thing is, when, when you divide by a small number, the overall thing here will get bigger. So, for example, if, if you have um, 1 divided by, let, let's say x is really small, let's say 0 0.00, uh, uh, let, let's say 2, 3, say, a really small number. Um, so, let's get a calculator here, and, and the overall answer would be a lot bigger. So, hang on, 1 divided by 0 0.0023 and, and the, the overall answer would be a lot bigger so this will be 
four hundred and and something. So when 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 uh, when x is really close to the zero, not point not 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 two three, it would be four hundred and something. So that means if you were to extend this, it, it would go all the way up. Well, it's going to go. Well, it's going to go to infinity. Okay, infinity. Um, just accept it for for the time being. Um, infinity is like a really big number. So just just accept it for the time being. Now, if if you look at this here, we are trying to draw this graph here. Okay. Um, if if you if x goes all the way to the right here, so that means if you put a really big number into here, let's say nine nine nine. Let's say x goes all the way up to nine hundred and ninety nine. So let's let's get a calculator out. One divided by one nine nine. Uh, hang on. one divided by nine 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 equals you see it, it equals a, a, a positive number but it's it's really a really small positive number that means it's it's getting closer so basically when when you're drawing this it's going to get this 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 number here will will get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller it will never reach uh zero because if you think about it let, let's put nine 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 in here okay so 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 we we earlier we we just did this uh when x is nine hundred and ninety-nine, let's let's say x goes up to to nine 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 nine. Now, if if you get a calculator and do uh, one divided by nine 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 equals see the the whatever the y value will still be positive. It, it hasn't reached zero. Um, it's still positive and it's still a number. So basically, it, it will hover above the uh, the uh, the x-axis. So, so this this line here. Um, if you try to draw this, okay, um, it, it will look something like this on the positive side. It, when when you make x really small, near zero, near zero, um, uh, the the overall answer would be really big, somewhere up there. Okay. Now, if you make x, uh, if you put a, a a value of x that's really big into here, the overall thing will be near zero but it's slightly above zero and it's positive so so when you try and plot this this line here uh what if, if you try and plot the graph of y over this um it will look something like this uh, uh rubbish so it will look something like this okay and then in the next video we will investigate the negative the negative side so what happens when x uh, goes into the negative realm over on this side here because this video has been going on for a while now. So, so on the positive side, um, it, it will look something like this because um, uh, it will look something like this. Okay, so so just bear in mind that something weird happens at zero. You just can't you just can't have it at zero. But then as you increase x to the right hand side, it well one divided by a really big number, the overall thing will be really small, really small. So so that's why it hovers above the uh, uh, well above the uh, the zero here and and when you when you make x to be really small um, this overall thing will be really big so that's why it goes all the way up okay in the next video we will investigate what uh, what uh, what happens when uh, when it's in the negative realm okay